So whoever said free was better probably didn't think about Adobe. Okay, welcome back, loyalty. So today I want to talk to you guys about something that I mean. I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to do this a lot back when I started photoshopping and stuff like that. And you know, I just didn't really see the value of actually paying for something when I know I can get on the computer and just download the free version and then torrent it and put in like different keys and stuff like that. So what used to happen was back when Photoshop wasn't really, well, I mean, it was always big, but back before they started doing Photoshop's Creative Cloud and stuff like that, they had the Creative Suite. What I used to do was, I'm pretty sure like a lot of us used to do was we used to go on the internet, we used to look for this torrent or whatnot, download the torrent. Yeah, that mug might've gave us like a virus or whatnot, but what we used to do was we used to get like a nice antivirus that would fight that, combat that, even like wipe it out completely. We'll look for like the product key online, which is probably still out there. Like you can still probably find a product key for Photoshop CS3, CS5, and CS6. The thing is we used to go out there and we pretty much was stealing all right it was pretty much like stealing but you know and then we would use it to help us make money and stuff like that and that was cool but but then after a while like they stopped doing that you know they pretty much blocked all those keys when i so what ended up happening was you would get the product and then you have to turn off your internet on your computer to actually use the thing so what i would do is i'll take my android phone i'll download like all the pictures that i need off the internet and then i'll just connect it to my computer and just photoshop from there or whatnot which was still stealing but you know it was a way around it and that was just too much process you know that was just too much of the process just to get things out just to make something so what i ended up doing was i was like you know what well what's for starters full cell gave me cs6 for free which if you guys want to know a little bit more about full cell i actually made a video about this so definitely check that out but they gave me cs6 i was pretty good with that but then after a while i was just like you know let me get the cc version because i feel like cc offers so much more and it actually did and actually it gave us so much more products that we can use as graphic designers and stuff like that and i genuinely feel like adobe cares about the graphic designer the creative and all that type of stuff so here are a few reasons why i feel like you guys should just go ahead and update and pay for the cc membership number one a way better photoshop everybody knows adobe for photoshop they really don't use any other product unless they've actually been using adobe for years and stuff like that so photoshop now is way powerful than it was before now i remember you guys asked me about like how i can cut out hair and stuff like that the way that we used to cut out hair in cs6 and cs5 really cs5 was the hardest way to do it but cs6 got kind of easier or whatnot it's way easier to cut out hair in cc than it was in like cs6 refined edges is not as good as select and mask select and mask is just way better I, I feel like it actually goes in and actually does what it has to do now i used to do the smart radius on both of them but i kind of feel like this one is better than refined edge and you definitely can get some good stuff out of that you can get some great cuts out of that especially when it comes to hair because you know look at my hair i do this all the time and then if you're a fashion photographer or if you have a clothing line and stuff like that and you're using fashion mock-ups and stuff like that and you want to use that guy with the afro or you want to use that girl with the kinky hair and stuff like that it's best to have a software that actually goes in and pays attention to those little details and can pull that stuff out now like i said i pulled a video out for this one you guys can check that out number two photoshop brushes now i kind of feel like photoshop brushes are good everywhere like it's been good for years you know but here in Photoshop CC 2018, matter of fact, I think it was like last year, 2017, they updated this for 2018. So what happened here was people tried to mimic stuff in Photoshop from Illustrator and you can't really do it because Photoshop is dedicated to actually freehand drawing and stuff like that. Now, Illustrator is too, but you know, they have that kind of easing kind of brush in Illustrator that they didn't have in Photoshop. Well, gone with the days because just last year they updated that for people to be able to do that stuff now the brush in photoshop is just as good as the brush in illustrator i know a lot of people feel like you get vectors in photoshop i'm i don't know i'm indifferent with that you're not going to get a vector in photoshop like you will in illustrator because illustrator is a vector based program but the brush in photoshop is just as amazing and even better in some type of cases so so if you want that you want to go ahead and update yourself to photoshop cc you'll definitely have that greater experience with the Photoshop brushes. I promise you, your drawings are gonna come out that much better and you're gonna feel really good about it. Number three, Adobe Muse. Now, I know a lot of people don't know how to code websites and stuff like that. They'd rather go to Wix, they'd rather go to Squarespace. As a matter of fact, they might even just hire a designer, stuff like that. And yeah, Muse is not the most powerful thing to use. It does have its flaws, but to me, I feel like Adobe Muse 
definitely gets the job done as far as like web design and stuff like that now you do need to know a little bit about web design you need to know about like animation and color theory and all that other extra stuff you need to understand that there's responsive design and there's other different design aspects to go along with actually making an actual website but when it comes down to Adobe Muse, it's very powerful, it's very cool. You can have a in minutes, really, really in minutes, you can have a website ready to go. You can have a website that's good for every size, and then you can have a mobile version ready to go within minutes, within an hour low key, you know? Which, you know, you can do that in like Dreamweaver as well, which Dreamweaver 2018 is pretty dope too. As a matter of fact, it has coding like down to a, like a T, like they actually have templates now where you can just plug in different things and it can come up, you know? I feel like Adobe Muse is very powerful and you guys will definitely like the CC version, especially if you're trying to start your own business. Number four, Adobe After Effects. Now, Adobe After Effects has always been one of those intimidation kind of like programs or whatnot. And I understand where you guys are coming from that because if you're not into animation, if you're not really into like understanding how things kind of work and just build itself out, then the After Effects can be very intimidating. But with CC, not only do they give you like tutorials like every time you log in, like they give you like a small tutorial that you can like look at that's gonna help you with your projects and stuff like that. They changed the interface low key. Like the interface is not as intimidating as it used to be. You can actually have a cool version. You can have like you know, that normal gray version or whatnot, which you know is still kind of standard. And also like they made it easy for you guys to make 3D models and stuff like that. So you remember when Cinema 4D came out? Now Cinema 4D was the way for people who were into like 3D effects and stuff like that to actually make 3D models and stuff like that. And they would put that into their little animations and you know composite it into like commercials and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But now you get Cinema 4D for free and you get After Effects in the same bundle of the CC. So that's really cool to me. I feel like you guys can have some amazing GIF animations that promotes your brand in 3D if you guys start using that type of stuff, if you're into that type of stuff. So definitely upgrade for CC. Now this is something that you can do in Photoshop as well. Like you can make a model in Photoshop, but you know, it's only more powerful when you use it in Photoshop CC than what it was in like Photoshop CS6 and Photoshop CS5 and below and all that stuff. I didn't really even like using 3D in CS6. I kind of feel like it was slowing up my computer, but in CC, it's so much more stronger, so much more powerful that you get that experience that you want from it. And I'm gonna give you guys just one more, which is number five. It's the ease of access from one program to another. So let's just say I'm building something out on one program. I could just take that from, let's say Photoshop to Illustrator real quick and you know it's not even that much of a problem I could just bring that from Photoshop to Illustrator and then I can export it from Illustrator into like After Effects and then I can bring that from After Effects into another program and I can just continue building out projects as much as I can it makes you feel like you know what you're doing it makes you feel like you're an actual designer it makes you feel like you're an actual photographer it makes you feel right when you got the right programs that's gonna work all together and that's for 50 bucks okay 50 bucks get you pretty much that experience that you need without having to go to somebody else to do it for you. Like you can do it all right there and it's pretty powerful at the fingertips, okay? At your fingertips, you have everything that you need and that's what I feel Adobe CC is really good for. So I hope you guys can make y'all decisions based on that. And if you do, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below why you wouldn't want to like upgrade to CC because CC is pretty awesome. I feel like you also get tech support, you know, and they all always update the program I think like every six months they update the program for something better you know like anytime they find like a design flaw or a bug or anything like that they're fixing it and that's pretty cool to me but if you guys really don't like it let me know in the comment section below and I'll talk to you guys about it and if you're new to the channel then go ahead subscribe because I do this all the time as a matter of fact bail me so I know it's real because once I get a hundred bells we're going live, baby. We live, baby. We're going to talk about Photoshop and Illustrator, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this stuff as if we're in a classroom. But with that one being said, you guys, I have to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative. Above all else, stay awesome.